Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I think the key announcement today is the fact that, once again, Peterhead has been betrayed. Yes, now, yes. all along, warm words have been paid to the Scottish cluster, but yet they have been stabbed in the back again. And I can I just say to the Minister that classing, classing the Scottish did, cluster as yeah. a, a reserve is an even bigger insult. So what representations has he had from the Scottish Secretary of State about what has happened to Peterhead? And can you confirm this is a political decision and not technical, given that uh, the Scottish cluster ticks all the boxes and would have contributed to the hydrogen production target? And he keeps going on about nuclear. The reality is, Hinkley at £23 billion is the most expensive power station in the world, strike rate at £92.50 per megawatt hour, compared to offshore wind at less than £40 per megawatt hour. So what is the capital cost in billions and billions of pounds that the government is willing to commit to that could be uh, better spent elsewhere? What funding is coming to Scotland in the back of the announcement of the Social Housing Decarbonisation Fund and the Home Upgrade Grant Schemes? And again, Mr Speaker, if we look at Scotland around, Scotland has contributed £350 billion in oil and gas revenues over the years. Where is the UK Government's match funding for the £500 million yeah, yeah. just transition the Scottish Government has committed to the north east of Scotland? He talks about levelling up, but his levelling up does not include Scotland. Yeah, yeah. We have got the highest electricity grid charges in Europe, which puts renewable energy in Scotland at risk and 20 per cent more expensive south east England, which actually also affects the UK's net zero uh, trajectory. Scottish energy consumers are now getting made to pay for their nuclear that we do not want. And as I've said, Peter Head's now been sacrificed for the Red Wall constituencies. Mr Speaker, the reality is when it comes to Scotland, this UK government isn't helping us tackle climate change. It's a scorched earth policy instead as we head towards independence. Yeah, yeah.